Welcome back my lovelies to another video and today I bring you the best curling hacks every girl should know hands down the best ever 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 so a lot of these hair hacks are incredibly amazing and genius because you're going to be utilizing everyday household items that you already use how awesome is that but if you don't have them go to the store because these hair hacks are genius and you need them in your life first curl hack has to do with aluminum foil and not just any aluminum foil premium quality from Kirkland. There are so many ways how to do this with aluminum foil to create those beautiful curls in your hair. But I think, in my honest opinion, I've come up with the best one so far. Before we go any further, turn on your hair straightener. And it doesn't matter which one, just as long as it works. You're gonna grab your aluminum foil and you're gonna place it right underneath the hair and just kind of place it down like you're gonna highlight your hair or color it. Just like that. But before I go any further, I'm gonna clamp these together so they don't go anywhere. We're gonna wrap it like a burrito style. We're gonna pick it up. Make sure you don't clamp down the edges. But make sure you do it nice and tight. And then you just start rolling towards the top with the hair. Let go. Take the ends and then make sure you kind of bring them and kind of close this together. You don't want the ingredients falling out of this burrito. Just like that. And make sure you make it nice and flat. Here's the fun part. Take your straightener, heat it, and put it right, right in there like a panini. Clamp it down as tight as you can and hold it for like 10 seconds. Just be very gentle, it gets very hot. Are you ready for this? Take it out. Huh? I mean, I'm pretty, I'm so happy with this because this curl is so pretty. You can wear it to school, to work, on your wedding. I mean, all eyes will be on your hair. That's exactly what you want, right? <laughs> I can't take this seriously. For this next curl hair hack, we're gonna stay in the kitchen and we're gonna bring out those chopsticks or your skewers, cause you need two of them. You put your skewer on one side, make sure your sticky thing, sticky part is towards the top. You're gonna wrap your hair. No, you're not. Yes, you are. You're gonna wrap your hair once going towards your face and then you're gonna put the other skewer right next to it and then you're gonna bring the hair back over on top of it. And then you're gonna bring it underneath the second one. It's, it's super easy, you guys. So what you do is, you try to hold them, then you bring the hair back over the first one, and then you underneath the first one, and back over the second one, underneath, and just continue doing this until you have no more hair left to wrap. Take your straightener and start clamping it from the top, each section like five seconds, and just keep going down. Just don't do it too long because you don't wanna end up like that girl that burnt her hair off. So all you do is just take it out one skewer at a time. I think it's so pretty. What do you guys think? For curl hack number three, we are still gonna stay in the kitchen and we're gonna utilize straws. This one I think is far more simpler than the skewer ones, even though it requires more time and skill, but I think it's still a lot simpler. So you pretty much want like the skinnier straw. You don't wanna use like the boba tea straws or the bubble tea straws. You want a very thin straw. So for this, you want to grab very tiny sections because you will have to fit them through this hole of the straw. You grab a small bobby pin, you put it through right in the hole, and you start pushing your hair in. Ooh, I'm getting cross-eyed. This is a very good exercise for your eyes and your patients. So then what you want to do is you want to push the bobby pin out. Before we do anything, take your bobby pin and just clamp the very top so we don't lose it. And then we're going to start rolling the straw to the top. And then what you wanna do, you either take a clear elastic, you tie it together, or you just clamp it with the, with the bobby pin. I'm gonna take clear elastic. Take the next five to 10 hours to do the rest of your head and just go to sleep. Take it out and very gently unwrap your curl. I mean, I think that's pretty worth it. For like five to 10 hours of hard labor. Like imagine this, like your whole head. So curl hack number four, they just keep getting better, aren't they? I love them. So happy you guys are enjoying this video. And we're gonna utilize utensils. More specifically, 
the fork with four prongs. You want four, not three or two, you want the four prong fork. Any section of hair will do. And this one is not gonna be heatless unless you have a ton of forks and you wanna sleep with them. Let me know how that experience goes because I would love to hear about it. We're gonna start wrapping hair around. And then when, when you're done, you're gonna take the fork and you're just gonna place it right in your hair to hold it, just like that. This is why you want the four prong fork. So what you wanna do is you take your straightener and you gently heat it right in the fork. Let it cool off completely and then we're gonna take it out and unravel this beautiful magic of a curl. Oof. I mean, just look at that. This is exactly what you want. You want the nice tight curl on the top and then as loose as possible towards the bottom. And make sure it's four prong, not three, not two, not one, four. That's the trick here. <laughs> as beautiful as this curl is, we have to move on to the next one. This one is gonna blow your mind, literally. So you're gonna grab a section. So make sure you take this, the whisk part in the very top. We're gonna put the hair right through there. And then you're gonna start twisting it towards your head. And then see, it legit holds right in place. So all you have to do now is wait for the curls to set and cool off for about seven to 12 hours, but I recommend for at least 16. So now that 18 hours have passed, we're ready to take out our curls. You can leave all of them like this. You can take them apart. You guys know I like taking my curls apart. By the way, if you guys want a full tutorial on any of these, just leave your requests down below in the comment section. I will have them up for you in no time. Curl hack number six is going to be a different rendition for the S waves. I probably need to put a disclaimer for this, so use it with caution. And this one, you can also do a heatless method if you prefer, you can do it heated method, which it's whatever you like, whatever fits your lifestyle best. So you're gonna take the hair, you're gonna start to wrap it around the knife. Take your bobby pins and secure, put two right here and then two right here and just clamp it down. This is so smart, seriously. Can't believe nobody's ever taught you this before. And then what you all do when the curls are set, you just wanna take it out. And there we have it. I think the best part is right here where it gets like that. That's exactly what I want. I'm literally dead now. Like, I love this so much. I die. I die for this. Ah, <sighs> makes me so happy. So curl hack number seven, we are leaving the kitchen and entering the bathroom. Baño, tuliet. We're gonna use the toilet paper, but not the actual toilet paper, but the cardboard. And if you don't have an empty one or a used one, all you need to do is just take it off. This, you don't need. If you don't wanna waste your time, just throw it across the room. See, literally, not even two seconds. You will need at least 24 of these, so get your kids involved, unroll your toilet paper, and this is exactly what you need right here. This, you can just throw in the trash, burn it, whatever. Totally useless. This is it. I have found the answer for you. You're gonna take your hair at the very end and you're gonna start rolling it underneath like so. And then what you wanna do, make sure you get it nice and tight. Take your little clips and just clip each side. After 34 hours have passed, I am ready to take out my curls. If you want volume and bounce, this is the curl for you. Curl hack number eight is a great one because if you don't have enough toilet paper holders, the next best thing, tampons. You take your tampon and you just start wrapping it on the tampon. You're gonna leave this little part hanging out like you would in the JJ. <laughs> take your clamp and we're gonna clamp tampon with the hair. Not to be wasteful, take the actual hmm, two for one. I like it. You know, we have to be planet conscious and we can't waste product like this. I mean, like this is so amazing. Don't waste it. Let your curls set and cool off from between 48 seconds to 24 hours and they're done. Take them out and let's see the curl. I think this one's actually a fail, you guys. I don't like this one at all. Curl hack number nine, we're moving away from the kitchen and the bathroom. Well, maybe they're in the bathroom or the kitchen, depends. If you have any kids or if you have nieces or nephews, you probably have these laying around your house. Legos. Make sure you have two Legos per curl. Take your damp section of hair, take your first Lego, and you're gonna wrap it. You might struggle, but that's okay. That's the beauty of this. Take your second Lego, put it right on top, clamp it down. <sighs> oh. 
That vintage curl, baby. Vintage curl. I've saved the best for last. So for this, you will need an interchangeable curling wand. If you don't have these already, please pause the video and go buy them just for this hack. You wanna take this off just like that. This part, you can just toss it in the trash. We don't need it. And the heat source is going to be your straightener. Mind blowing? I think so. And you're just gonna wrap the hair like you would around the barrel, just like that. You're gonna hold the end, take your heated hair straightener and just press it down. Like this may seem way too excessive. It's not. So once you can't feel your arms anymore, that's when you know your curl is all set. I mean, result, right? Genius. You heard it from me first, folks. Every hair straightener should come with a wand. And there we have it, folks. My 10 curl hacks every girl should know. Parody. <laughs> Let me know which hair hacks you would actually use. <laughs> Which ones were your favorite? Please tag me if you do recreate any of these. I would love you forever and ever. But for now, thank you so much for watching this video. Enjoying this humor with me and my husband, Andre. We had so much fun filming it. I can't. I will see you guys in the next one. I love you all very much. Bye.